Hello, I'm Madge the sheep. I live in a large flock of sheep. We live on hillsides around Bethlehem. You may have heard of Bethlehem. It features quite a lot in Bible stories. Anyway, there are exactly 100 sheep in this flock and we all know each other pretty well. I want to tell you a story about something that happened to me when I was just a little lamb. Our shepherd, he's a pretty special man. He knows each one of us by name. And when he calls us, we follow on behind. He makes sure we have enough to eat and every day he takes us down to the water so we can have a lovely long drink. On the day I was talking about, the day when I was still a little lamb, we had been up on the hills wandering for quite a long time and I was getting really tired. My mum called my name to tell me to keep up, but I just couldn't keep up and I couldn't follow the shepherd anymore. And then I saw a little butterfly was fluttering around the way they do. It looked so pretty I just had to stop and have a look and chase it. The flock trotted on without me, but I was so busy watching and playing with the butterfly that I didn't even notice. And then I heard how quiet it was. No sheep bleating, no shepherd to call my name. And at first I thought it was great. I was all on my own and I stopped to eat some grass that was growing beside the path. And then I found a little stream and I had a little drink of water. But then it began to get dark and the wind began to blow. Where was I going to sleep? I usually slept with all the other sheep in the safety of the sheepfold, with, with the shepherd lying across the entrance to keep us all safe. And then I heard it very softly on the breeze the sound of a wolf howling. Oh! What was I going to do? I was so scared. I found a rock and I pressed myself against the rock. But the wolf was getting closer and closer and I was all alone out there on the hills. But then, then I, I heard something else a long way away. I could hear someone calling my name. Yeah, yes it was. It was the shepherd. He'd come for me. Once again, closer, I heard my name. Overjoyed, I bleated as loud as I could. Ma! And he found me. He was so kind. I thought he'd be really cross and hit me with his stick or something. or And drive me down the path back to the sheepfold. But he didn't. He picked me up onto his shoulders. And he carried me back to the sheepfold where all the other sheep were waiting for me. Our shepherd's like that. He knows us all by name and he cares about each one of us. Did I tell you his name? It's Jesus. And today we're thinking about Jesus saying, I am the good shepherd. And shepherds look after their feet, sheep. They feed them, they protect them from danger. And they lead them to water. And they love their sheep and they call them by name. And Jesus is like that good shepherd. If you want to have some um, fun sheep crafts to make, you could make a funny sheep mask like this. Well, it's not really a mask, is it? It's a head thing. Um, or you could make one of these pom-pom sheep. And I've put the Pinterest link on there so your grown-up can have a look and see how to make them. Or you could make a sheep cake. And I made these with marshmallows and you could draw a little face on there or make a face out of icing. Or... You could make a sheep card using your fingerprints to make the wool and send it to somebody. I'm going to say a prayer now. Dear God, thank you that you love us like a shepherd loves his sheep. Amen. Have a look on the link at the psalm. There's a psalm in the Bible right at the beginning of the, of the Bible called Psalm 23. And it talks about shepherd and his sheep. Have a click on the link and listen. See you next time. Bye.